population for this particular comparative report is adolescents age 15 to 19 years. Traditionally, the youth age group is 15 to 24 as defined by the United Nations. However, the population of 15 to 19 is more vulnerable because they are still growing physically and mentally. Uh, therefore, we decided that it would be useful to identify some of the key reproductive and sexual health characteristics of this particular age group. For this report, data comes from 112 surveys conducted in 41 countries between the years of 1990 and 2011. In this particular report, uh, data is included from Demographic Health Surveys, DHS, AIDS Indicator Surveys, AIS, and some interim DHS surveys that are conducted in countries. So if we add up all the cases for which the data is presented in this report, we come up with about 217,000 adolescent women 15 to 19 and 66,000 adolescent men 15 to 19. Some unique indicators that are presented included in this report is which are important for any program purposes for adolescents are what kind of family adolescents live in, nuclear versus uh, joint family, uh, what, uh, what is the household wealth in which adolescents live in. Uh, there has been a lot of back and forth in the sexual activity indicator definitions. So in this particular report, we present old and new indicators together for all the countries uh, because you don't find that data in the DHS reports. And also, we present data on uh, their work status and school enrollment together. Like what are the youth who are neither in school nor working? So these are the youth usually you want to target for a lot of interventions and policy purposes. The share comes out as a very interesting case uh, based on the data from this report. 26% of adolescent women in Niger uh, seem to be having sex uh, by age 15, which is the highest uh, among all the countries included in this report. The case is the same for child marriage, that third of women, adolescent women in Niger are married by age 15. So we would assume that most of the adolescent women having sex are within the constitution of marriage. However, this puts them at a high risk of being adolescent mothers. Compared to only 5% of adolescent men in Niger who are having sex by age 15. So to me, this is an alarming and very interesting findings, finding that needs like immediate attention. So data presented in this report can be used by program managers and policy makers to uh, look at the progress and setbacks of the programs running on the ground for their respective countries. Another finding that is, comes out from the report is that now there is urbanization among youth across the board. So if your programs are still focused or the resources are more directed towards rural areas, you might want to rethink and reassess if this is the right way forward. You might have to reassign the resources in making sure that you are capturing most of the adolescent population which are now moving towards urban areas. So another intervention that uh, immediately comes to my mind is condom use among adolescent has been stagnant over time. However, with adolescent motherhood, having multiple sexual partners, this seems to be another key area for adolescent that seem attention to increase the condom use among this age group. In addition to uh, program planners and policy makers, uh, our uh, various cooperating agencies and development partners can also draw the data on adolescents from this report. For example, uh, the upcoming UNFPA 2013 World Population Report would be quoting data from this particular report in the adolescent chapter.